Yo, what is up guys? I'm coming at you here with a brand new video on the boss base for the event. I know it's a little late, but I figured I still wanted to make my own. Just because I know that the commentary sometimes helps people understand what's going on in the videos. Even though, you know, you have the video, sometimes the talk helps. So the bases are pretty easy if you have the Omega Titan, Dina, um... I guess you need Jericho. I use Ardra and Dante, but I don't think you need them. Basically, there's a lot of different units you can use. This is just the, the, you know, the ones I chose to use, but you can substitute different units. So here, I have an expert Dina. She's pretty beast. She's chopped out with everything. You want to start by picking off the whole right side. You can do it with air only. You can target those Tempests with Dina. As long as she takes them out in two rockets, you won't take any damage. Um, you don't even need to bait them, to be honest. As long as they're not facing her, I don't know what's up with the Tempest, but they don't activate until they take damage, so you'll be good. And then once the Tempest is down on all three of them, you can just bring the Titan to mop the whole right side up. And um, there's one more Tempest in the back that you're going to want to take care of. First, though, you want to kill that Howler, and then you want to kill that Air Platform so that your Dina doesn't take damage. But even if she does, you know, these boss bases, I always expect to take a little bit of damage. Even though this video is done with like 10 minutes repair, I wouldn't mind taking an hour or two over all the boss bases because you know they're not constantly out so I, I'm all for speed I'd rather do them as fast as possible instead of trying to do them as you know as safely as possible with little damage so there's something wrong with this um, hunter I don't know what it is but it doesn't target air it, it, I don't know if it's empty I don't know what's up with it and um, you can bring two furies to just kill it you want to be careful with that uh, machine gun avalanche you saw there it targeted the fury but good thing I had the wingman on it to protect it and so I end the attack I started again there's a guy outside trying to snipe the base you know I'm an enemy sector I'm always an enemy sector during the event and um, they're too slow though they're not gonna catch me I know they're not so I end the attack I started over to regroup my units to the left side now you want to bring in Kara and uh, Titan to take out the whole middle side um, I don't even honestly I don't think you need Omega Titan I'm pretty sure elite Titan should work just the extra drones you really Really just need the drones to tank and uh, Dina the most important thing is take out that Tempest and then once that Tempest is done you can take out that whole middle part you want to be careful with the hunter that hunter is loaded so you don't want to target it with air I found that out the hard way so you want to take out that Warhawk I don't know if it would do a lot of damage I doubt it but knowing kick's eye they would have beefed up Warhawks so I just retreated Dina to kill it once that middle side is down you can bring in Jericho to take out the hunter because you can't use air unless you want to take a hit from it um, yeah I guess you could no yeah you're gonna need a ground unit to kill it so I use Jericho he takes it out real quick you can use um, if you don't have anything you can probably use Hades I don't know there's a lot of units you can use but you see there Jericho takes it out and then that whole left side is ready to be cleaned with the Titan again you want to kill the war factories because those um, what else things called I forgot what those big yellow tanks are called the BFG they're super annoying so you want to take them out um, they can do a lot of damage to weaker units, so you want to be careful. The Titan, you, you want to be careful with the, the Tempest. I was trying to make sure this video was free repair, so I, that's why I was being so careful. But when I do these bases, I'm never this careful. I just try to do them as fast as possible because, you know, the bases are only out for a short amount of time. So here I, uh, I would have sent the Dina right at the Tempest because, like I said, I wouldn't, I would have gambled. It. I don't think the Hunter would have hit it, but I was trying to do the base with free repair, so I didn't risk it. I brought in Ardra. I used Ardra to kill the Juggernaut. I was using an Acolyte, but I started using a uh, inf what is that thing called? Uh, preserver with uh, the gold body armor, adapted body armor. I I'd rather just do it as fast as possible, so I let the preserver take a hit. I did. There's something in this event though that makes um, the units target Ardra over other units. So you guys will see where I messed up here. I target the Juggernaut with the uh, what's it called? With the preserver. And uh, I sent Ardra in way too late. So I didn't realize that the Juggernaut would target my Ardra over the Preserver. I thought that was super dumb. But it does. And I ended the attack because I didn't want my Ardra to die. Ardra was already dead though. She was micro healed basically. And I tried it again. This was the first time I had tried it this way. I hadn't done it this way. I was using the Acolyte method before. But what I should have done was... Um, what you want to do is send in Ardra the moment the rocket fires at the Preserver. That way even if the Juggernaut aims at you it's too late it won't be able to reload in time so it's kind of hard to time it but once you get it down you, you know you'll be able to do it in one shot so here the juggernaut ends up hitting my preserver three times when in reality it should have only shot it once 
So here you guys will see. You send it in at the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut takes its shot. I messed up. I targeted the Warhawk. I didn't notice. So I failed. I tried to send Ardra, but then I thought about it. I stopped her. Make Make the Juggernaut shoot another one, then you send Ardra. So the moment he shoots, you want to send Ardra, that way he won't be able to reload in time. And um, I, I don't know why he's doing that switch target thing that's so dumb and annoying, but it made me realize that maybe Ardra isn't the best method to take out the, the Jug. You know, I tried with air though, you want to be, if you use your air, you got to be so careful that he doesn't shoot under your air, because if he takes a shot and your air is bunched up, he's gonna kill all of it. And it happened to me once and it, that's why I don't mess with that. I'm not gonna send my air anywhere near it. So here I got the Dante coming in, he's advanced Dante. You wanna take out the, the most important thing is the anti-air back there. And once you do that, you can clean up the base with air. So first you target the things that are hitting him. You know, he's gonna clean that up real fast with no damage. You hit the Tempest. He should have taken out the Tempest in one shot. I don't know what happened there. But if you have expert, he'll do it. And um, then you hit the, the missile shooter crap I forget the name hunter turret and then here I should have killed that warhawk with my preserver when I was baiting the juggernaut but I didn't and you see he slowed down my Dante what you, like I said what you want is speed so this is a really annoying and I didn't want to end the attack because I knew they were outside ready to snipe me so I have to wait for him to retreat but if that warhawk had been killed by the preserver um, that wouldn't have happened so basically when you're baiting the juggernaut just use a preserver to kill the warhawks because they slow down your units with the freeze and then here, the base is basically done. You can clean it with air. You bring in Dina to take out the tower thing, put her on defense, and then she goes blind. And then you take out the uh, flak turret. That flak turret is pretty weak. The, the splash damage wasn't that big. Like you saw there, it hit the drones, and it should have hit my titan, but it didn't. I don't know why. And then um, you just basically can turn Ruby on. You know, like I said, the flak turret splash, I don't know if they lowered it for the bases or something, but I feel like it's lower than usual. And uh, once that second flak turret's down, then you can definitely turn Ruby on. I turned Ruby on there, and that's it. The base is cleared. And you just want to take out the airs with Furies or something. You see there, my Dina decided... I don't know why when, there, when there's nothing left for a unit to hit, the units decide to just fly in a straight line. It's annoying. They should just stop where they're at, you know. But whatever. She was still under 5 minutes repair. And so you see I got 3 Omega Jug parts. And they snipe my tombs. So I was having a lot of lag here because I had Camtasia running and Pandora. And I was getting frustrated because I was, the battle wouldn't freaking load. And... Um, it was really annoying me because I wanted to see what the repair time was and I knew they were going to damage it. So I started clicking retreat like a hundred times trying to get it to retreat. And uh, the reason I didn't, there, I couldn't send my tunes in was because they jailed up, they closed the jail. So that's why I got confused when I tried to retreat them. But it doesn't matter, they're too slow anyways. Nobody can beat me when it comes to the tune fight. So I broke into jail again and um, put my tune back in kill this Valkyrie and you guys can see the repair time here it's it's pretty great you know these bases are really super easy and I've been lazy I've only done three of them and um, next to that hopefully they don't change them and I'll, I'll go harder but I don't know I've been pretty lazy so I, I I think I have like 10 Omega parts right now so I need 70 more so you see there are two minutes on my air I think that's a really great repair time and one minute 40 on Jericho he took 520 because um the freaking Warhawk slowed him down, I think. And then the Preserver took 7 minutes. He should have taken a third of that, but I failed. But even then, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 minutes, that's nothing. Or how many is it? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13 minutes is nothing. Even if I did take 13 minutes for base, after 10 bases, that'd only be like 2 hours, which is a great trade off, in my opinion. So there you guys have it. That's the base. And I show the tech I have on all my units right after this. If any of you want to set your units up like mine, I don't even know if they're the best setup but that's just how I have mine so there you guys go that's the four ma main units of the attack and I hope this base video helps you out I know it's a little late but I figure for next time it'll help if the bases don't change so there you guys go thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace